This week, no tricks, no lies, you are going to steal a watch. That's totally illegal. What kind of show is this? Shame on you. This scamtacular episode of Scam School brought to you by Squarespace and GoDaddy. Welcome to Scam School, now with extra added trans fats, as opposed to fatty trannies. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week I get to learn one of my all-time favorite magic effects, because with Dan Martin's help, we're gonna learn the watch steal. So I'm Dan. Hi, I'm Laura. We're gonna use a, a bar napkin, so okay. I'm just gonna make it into a little ball, and I want you to hold out your right hand. Okay. And here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try to make this ball jump from your closed fist, which I can't get into, and jump right into this hand. Okay. Would that impress you? I would be very surprised. <laughs> All right. Well, here's, we'll start off slow. We'll take another ball, put it in this hand, right? Okay. Okay, you're gonna come right around here like this, okay? Yep. We're gonna go one, two, and on three, you're gonna say jump, and you're gonna feel these two paper balls change places. That's pretty cool, right? Yep. Okay, here we go, here we go. Right. On the count of three, you ready? Yep. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Say jump. Jump. Check it out. They change places. Open your hands. I don't know. This one looks more crumpled. <laughs> See? It worked! <laughs> it worked. It worked. Here, watch. 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 Not bad, huh? That was pretty good. Pretty good, right? Yeah. yeah. You want to learn how to do it? Dude, I love video games, but just last week, no lie, I paid full price for one, brought it home, and it absolutely sucked. If you read my Twitter feed, you know exactly which game I'm talking about, too. I should have rented from Gamefly. Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service, which offers you a choice from over 6,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds. They've got plans starting at $15.95 a month. Members can get one to four games at a time and keep them as long as they like. If you fall in love with the game, simply click Keep it on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. Best part, Scam School fans get a free two-week trial when they head on over to www.gamefly.com slash scam school. Don't make my mistake. Head on over to gamefly.com slash scam school and never buy a bad game again. Back again with more crimes and misdemeanors, Mr. Dan Martin. Thank you. Uh, how have you been, man? I've been good. I've been good. Thanks now, again. I'm so excited because this bit, the, the watch deal, is something that I've always admired. True sleight of hand geniuses pull this off, and you're telling me that anybody can learn this. Anybody can do it. We're going to give you a basic lesson today on how to steal somebody's watch. That is so awesome. Now, I do know this much. I do know that you've got to look for the right type of watch, correct? Absolutely, especially when you're first starting off. Okay, so this particular one we're going to learn would be the... The, the typical leather band. Not like the metal watch that I have on now. We want to learn with the leather band. So you want to, first of all, you walk into the room and I guess the first thing you do is look around everywhere and see if you spot somebody wearing I am the scouting band. for this type of watch. Now, as you get more and more versed, you're going to be able to do other types of watches like uh, metal watches. This seems impossible to me. These I mean, are I, these are really really difficult and take years and years of practice. Future episode of Scam School, perhaps. Hopefully, Scam yeah. Graduate course lesson. I like that. I like right. that. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that. Um, okay. Okay. So how do you begin? So if you look at the watch, it's very, very similar to most people's belt buckles. Not yours, <laughs> but, but like a regular belt a normal buckle. A normal belt buckle. buckle. Not, the, not the Junk Guard 8000. All right, gotcha. <laughs> so what we're going to go ahead and do is get it out of the first hasp. Right. And so By and so doing that, you're going to use, like, for example, I like to use my middle finger. You could use your index finger. You could use your thumb. Whatever you're comfortable on. So I will go up here. I will bend this down, and in one smooth motion, pull it out. Okay, so the first part is to get your finger over the edge, pop it down so you get a bubble, and then drag that bubble on out. Yeah, in one, in one smooth motion. So you go, I'm going to kind of do it on a sideways view here. Right. But it's like, boom, and you follow through while sliding it right out and right. all the way back as far as you can okay, go. Okay, and that's the second thing, is I guess you got to pin it back like that. And right? then as you're doing that, you pin it back, get a good grip with your middle finger. You could even use two fingers if you'd like, and pull it out, 
all the way, basically making it as tight as you can go. When you do that, it'll automatically pop out of whatever hole it's in, oh, and you really? can pop it right back up. So do you actually need to, to bother with your finger to flick that up, or is that just an easy thing to do when you're in that position? It's an easy thing to do, and you want to do it, because what can happen is this is a very, very rigid, more of a rubbery type strap. Right. Um, but a lot of leather ones, what'll happen is if you don't pull it out, Yeah. It'll, it'll close and it'll link on to the next pop right back in. hole that's there. Got it. So Got it. basically it's muscle memory. Right. So if I'm grabbing your wrist for a while, you have the sensation of me holding your wrist right. for a while. When I let go, that sensation is still there. Right. And so it'll feel like your watch is still on your arm. So it's a psychology part just as much as swiping it. Okay. Now at this point, I grab the head of the watch for two reasons. Number one, that's going to allow me to pull it off as I let go of the strap, right. it'll also let me hold on to the watch because what you don't want to do is take someone's watch off and have it go flying and crashing. <laughs> so watch, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go one, two, boom, it's right off. Now obviously you can't do that with people just sitting there watching and of course if you just shake someone's hand and you're fidgeting the whole time they become a little bit suspicious, right? Yeah. So I'll, Buy whenever dinner I first. see magicians doing this, they always have some kind of trick. Some people have an actual trick that they're doing, but in your case, you didn't even have a real trick. You just had a fake trick with the balls. Absolutely. You know, the nice thing is you could even do a lot of the scam school tricks that you taught, where you're That's involving true. someone to hold something yeah. or, or whatever, a quarter trick. Anything that you want when they're moving the quarter scams around. Okay. Um, you could use any of these when they're holding an object. Well, I guess I should try it on you at this point. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we're going to do that, but first got to thank the people who make scam school possible. You know what's great about GoDaddy.com? Not only do they feature 99.9% .9 uptime in their hosting, not only do they have 24-7 tech support, but their domains are so ridiculously cheap that you could register one just to annoy your friends. We call it domain smacking, and you've seen it before. Travis Lopes registered spikyhairdouchebag.com and pointed it at me. Dodd Vickers registered the worst show on the internet.com and pointed it at me. I'm sensing a theme here. But the important thing is, if you want to get cheap domains for less than seven and a half dollars and get them forwarded to anywhere you want absolutely free, make sure to use the new code, new code SCAM10 at checkout. Not only will that get you the domain for $7.49, it'll be keeping Scam School in business and yourself swimming in free drinks. Okay, so I'm gonna try this, so here we go. We're gonna do a trick. I'm gonna put this right in your hand, all right? Now here we go. Now let me see this hand right here. You have two watches. What kind of weirdo has two watches? Close this hand right here. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm actually going to, in a moment, I'm going to actually shake this hand, and the ball's gonna go up through your back, and you're wow. gonna do the body wow. wave. Look at right, that. <laughs> right? And then it's actually gonna come into this hand, okay? Really? You ready? It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, two, three, go! Did it happen? Did you feel it? I did. Can you make it go back? <laughs> yes! And now it's back. Wait. And so's I... your watch! What? Ta-da! That was fun! I've never even tried that before. Yeah. Yeah, I totally man manhandled it. That was super sloppy work. That was not a real watch steal. No, but it does take practice. And you know, the, the, the biggest thing is to make that sensation on their hand. To, to keep it tight. Like that's yeah. what now, and I noticed that when you did it to me, that you held super tight, and so that's what when I did it to you, I just kept holding it as tight. Were you able to in my mind it had to feel totally obvious? Did it feel totally obvious to you? Oh yeah. But that but that <laughs> damn it. No. That's no, because, that's... because you suck brushwood. <laughs> no. That's why. <laughs> well, you know, you know what it was? It, it is practice. You're going to realize like, when you first start doing it, you're basically stopping someone's pulse. You're doing it so hard. Yeah. You don't want to do that. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, too, you want to get them, their attention on something else. So okay. What I normally say is, watch, it's going to jump from this hand to this hand. So, so I'm going to okay. go one, and I move their hands together. Right. What that does is two things. keeps their hands moving, gives them something to focus on. Right. And also, it helps you because they're moving you're their hands. around and you're able to manipulate it. Thanks again, Dan. Thanks A again, A dream Ryan. to steal watches. Real awesome. Revealed. <laughs> Newsflash, stealing people's watches is illegal. So make sure you've practiced it really well before you go out. Remember, you're representing Scam School out there. By the way, I want to thank Dan Martin for helping us out as always. So head on over to martinmagic.com to see more of his stuff. And if you have any success stories or better yet, failure stories, 
I want you to post them at the boards at revision3.com slash scam school where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, hit me up directly at brian at revision3.com. And if you're doing the Twitter thing, follow the show at twitter.com slash scam school or follow me personally at twitter.com slash wood. Next week, we're going to be doing an arts and crafts project. We're actually going to be learning how to make miniature Chia Obamas out of Play-Doh and weed. Until then, I'm going to head back to the bar. You're going to be like, what is he holding? Oh, you wonder what's inside this box, do you? Well, this would be my sequence of intros and outros. What else is in the bag? Welcome to the show that keeps f***ing that chicken. Welcome to the show that banged your mom last night. Welcome to the show that's wanted in 18 states for manslaughter. Welcome to the only show that's worse than the BB Live show. That is not true. BB Live show's way worse than this. Welcome to the show that had sex with Leo Lepore. <clears throat> Welcome to the show that eats more of the giant. Welcome to the show that felt up your cousin. God damn it. Are they all this bad? Welcome to the show that's like a foot long chili dog. Welcome to the show where your extra nipple counts for extra credits. <laughs> that's not bad actually. Welcome to the only school whose mascot is the flaming hemorrhoids. Really? <laughs> oh, freaking hemorrhoids.